Nike, hi. To uh, Africa, Kenya. Do you have anything on uh, uh, the embassy of Kenya is starting a campaign to help locals to identify uh, fake news and mm. then and to help them to stop, reflect, and verify before forwarding any uh, misinformation? Mm -hmm. um, first, on that, and secondly, is any other are any other American embassies doing the same thing? Yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm aware of that program that's uh, taking place out of, our, out of our embassy. I believe it's being run out of uh, one of our American centers, which if, if, you've, if you're traveling overseas and you've never been to one of our American centers, it's a pretty neat place to go. It's a, a place where young people or older people can go and kind of hang out and work on college applications and all that. I had an opportunity to visit one uh, in uh, Bangladesh, which was uh, a neat opportunity. Um, so I believe it's been run out of our uh, American Center. Uh, the idea, I think the genesis came from our ambassador who is serving there. And the idea is, you know, if you ever talk to somebody who, no offense, but in their early 20s, <laughs> they don't know how to identify uh, legitimate news sites. I have these conversations with our babysitters all the time. And they'll come to me. <laughs> they'll come to me with a piece of news saying, hey, Heather, take, take a look at this. And I ask, what is the source of that news? And they'll say it's some blogger or blogger who apparently is a YouTube star. And I've never heard of them, but you know, I'm much older than they are. So what do I know? Uh, the point being is that that seems to be an issue, especially with younger people nowadays, uh, perhaps with uh, folks around the world as well, where uh, they don't know how to go to legitimate sites or they don't ask the questions um, and verify themselves what the source is of this information. So I think um, the ambassador was just trying to help uh, teach uh, young people in particular how to identify uh, real news and how to identify fake news. And so I think it's probably a good idea if it's going on in other embassies. I'm just not, on, I'm not aware of it.